Gujarat government will not be seeking death penalty for Maya Kodnani, Babu Bajrangi and 10 others in connection with the 2002 Naroda Patia Raj case where the government has withdrawn its permission to the SIT seeking death sentence for Kodnani and others. This is a complete U-turn from the government's earlier stand where they had sought death penalty for the former state minister in the Naroda Patia massacre case. There was massive opposition from the state VHP over this decision. Recently, the Gujarat State Legal Department approved the recommendations of the Supreme Court appointed SIT to file an appeal in the High Court seeking enhancement of sentences to 10 convicts, including Maya Kodnani and Babu Bajrangi. Mosiki Acharya is joining us from Ahmedabad with the latest. Mosiki, in a way, the Gujarat government has disowned its own decision. First, it gave a go-ahead and now they have withheld that decision. What really is the reason behind it? Well, the sources within the government tell us that it seems that the pressure from the RSS is the reason behind uh, this decision by the Gujarat government to withheld the uh, uh, demanding of a death sentence for Maya Kodnani, Babu Bajrangi and 10 others. Uh, there was a, a huge outcry from the Saffron outfit right after this decision was taken by the Gujarat government last month. Right. Uh, VHP came out very, very strongly against this. Bajrang Baltu came out very strongly against this. And it seems that uh, Maya Kodnani, who has extremely good relations with the RSS Supremo Mohan Bhagwat, right. uh, had appealed to the RSS uh, 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 chief uh, when he visited Gujarat. Uh, his family members had uh, spoken to him. And it seems that the pressure from the RSS seems to have worked with the Gujarat government, Modi government at the helm of affairs. And they seem to have taken this decision after the pressure from this uh, RSS uh, outfit here. Because Maya Kodnani is believed to be very, very close, not just to LK Advani, but she's also a very active member of RSS. And uh, the sources within the government tell us that it could be the pressure coming from RSS which has uh, led the Modi government to withheld that decision that they had taken for the time being. Mosiki, just stay on with us. You're getting us some important details of the decision that has been taken by the Gujarat government. Uh, we also have lawyer and actress Mukul Sinha now joining us on the phone line. Uh, Mr. Sinha, what do you make of this? The Gujarat government first uh, cleared the file that was put forward by the SIT that was seeking a death penalty for Maya Kodnani and Babu Bajrangi, apart from several others, and now it's withheld its decision. Well, uh, this uh, latest decision doesn't surprise us. Uh, this government is known for its uh, hypocritic stance. Uh, however, uh, we did not support the enhancement application right from the beginning because we were against capital punishment. And uh, we found absolutely no necessity for this application. Uh, but what is required to be noticed is at that point of time, uh, when they gave the permission, they kept on saying that it is not the government that takes the decision in this matter, but it is the SIT that takes the decision, and the government had nothing to do with it. Uh, well, now the cat is out of the bag. Uh, it appears that they had certain political reason at that point of time to grant the permission. And now it is obvious that uh, because of their uh, uh, pressure from the Hindu forces, now they had to back out. Right. So what, according to you, Mr. Sinha, were the political reasons? Because we know the first appeal uh, from the SIT was ma made back in September 2012. A decision by the state government was taken seven months later. And just a month uh, from the decision that was taken by the government to actually give a go-ahead to the SIT to appeal for death sentence, they've now taken it back again. Yeah, I think the reason at that point of time was uh, his uh, foray outside Gujarat and uh, there was uh, his uh, ambition to become a PM, etc., etc. And uh, I think he made a statement also that he is not uh, the leader of only the Hindus. I think he was trying to uh, make an image that... Uh, uh, he goes for the rule of law and not uh, one brand of politics. But that point of time also we had said that this is absolutely an unnecessary step and it was politically motivated. And right now I think he has confirmed that position. Mukul Sinha, thank you very much for joining us. We also have uh, social activist Shabnam Hashmi.
<clears throat> pardon me joining us on the phone line right now ms hashmi uh, your first reactions to the news coming in that the gujarat government has now withheld its decision uh, that it had uh, given a go ahead earlier to the sit to appeal for death sentence uh, for maya kudnani and babu bajrangi it's now put that decision on hold well i think mr modi is desperately trying to become acceptable and he is unable to decide whether he wants to woo the muslims whether he wants to woo the hindutva lobby so he keeps uh, shuttling between uh, these two he thought that if he says that give death sentence to maya kodnani he would be able to woo the minorities in gujarat it's all politics he is trying to project himself as the prime minister of this country and most of it is uh, happening because of that because of his ambitions which has become much larger than life 